Esters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman. Let's go through some of this uh, in detail. Uh, we've got the Dow down 244 at 41,895. The S&P is down uh, a little bit more percentage-wise. Oops, where did I type that? Oh, I typed it into the den. Sorry, Dan, that was a mistake. Let's just put it right here. <laughs> Always have a little trouble with this S&P. There it is. A very sharp gap down. At 57.47, down 66. And now I, I, I don't want to talk about the uh, weekly charts. I'm going to get to that later. But let's just go through the dailies to QQQ. So it's a peak D in the S&P, the peak E in the, in, in the Chapman Wave. Oh, I should just do this real quickly because some of you are new to my work, I'm sure. Uh, I need to just explain what I'm talking about here when I'm talking about these peaks. I have a very, very simple technique. In concept, it's very easy to apply in the beginning, and then it comes in a little difficult. Uh, you go, identify the lowest low bar, <clears throat> count each successively higher peak, alphabetize them sequentially, uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down. The, your objective in the Chapman Wave, your only obligation is to count each peak and then to reassess at any point to see whether or not the, the letter that you've got corresponds to everything that you you know about the Chapman Wave methodology. Well, if you get upgrade, if the price gets upgraded from a buy signal to a buy mode, it means that there's a good chance that it's going to go to at least four higher peaks. It can go higher, but it get, gets you to at least that fourth higher peak. So here you've got your low bar that started the move to the upside right there, early September. You're in peak, at, oops, where did they go? Uh, that was... Uh, sorry, in August. So that was at 423.25. We still have our long position from there, but uh, we, we, we've been whittling away on the way up. So you go peak A, peak B, alternate count, then it goes to peak C, D, and then there's an inside A, E slash B, F slash C, D, and it goes to an E right there. Second buy signal to buy mode right there, and that high that is made at uh, in the S in the QQQ at 501.35 is only two points less than two points away from the all-time high. So I'm going to go. I'll go through the weeklies in a moment. I just want to finish this up. So this is down 1.7 percent, down 850, 862 at 487.77. Look at the IWM now. It's probably deep, a little deeper. Yep, now it's a down down a dollar 56. At uh, 219.91, is now down 0.67%, uh, still better than most of the others. Um, and you've also got the XLK. So that went to the peak D at 224.95, uh, mid-September, pulls back, and then goes to a slightly higher high, 227.17. I call it E slash A with my bias being E. And you had to see whether or not it broke halfway into the rectangle formation, which it did. Now it's got a little bounce from yesterday and week today. My suspicion is that it will be tackling uh, this left side low that was made on the 23rd of 217.37. I, I don't want to go into the weeklies just yet. Maybe I'll have to wait for Technical Friday to do it. But I want to go through this right now because it's the short term that we're dealing with. The XLK made a peak, D in the Chapman Wave, uh, back on the 14th. Was it the 14th or 13th? The 15th. 15th at 234.57. And it pulled back very sharply. It's made a dreaded H, one dreaded H, and the second dreaded H. Very sharp. Moved down, down 2.56%, minus 5.80 at 223.79. Um, look at the weekly chart, peak C. Uh, no, I don't want to go into that right now because it's got it's one of the very few times that you got an all-time high at a peak C minus. Uh, um, I don't want to go into it. 
I, I come back to it because it's really important, but not for this very moment. This very moment says, now you need to go to the SMHs, the SMHs and semiconductors, big move down today, down eight and a half at 2.42 and a quarter. Uh, the line period moving average just flipped negative. You can see but the day's young, but it has flipped negative for the first time since um, mid-September. And that had that green line moving up all the way to the peak D, 262.26 peak D, recent high. Um, but the all-time high was 283.07 in the weekly chart on the 14th of July. Let's go to gold. Now, this is going to be really important. Gold is down 37. There's a lot going on right now, and that that is telling me that within the uh, within the context of the broader market, I'll get to the weeklies. I have to do the dailies because the dailies the rudder. The rudder, the rudder is the one that gets you quickly moving this way and that way. The weekly takes a little more time. The monthly is the, is a super tanker that takes a long time before there's a change. So I'm looking at this and saying gold. By its move up yesterday, and that was really fascinating. Went to uh, 2801.8 in the continuous contract, but it is a leg E in the weekly chart, only a leg C in the monthly. It says that gold should pull back, but it should still go to higher highs over the next coming months. So I want to show you this because this was the clue to me that gold gold is really more. Uh, I think it's like this Middle East gold. Um, icon that says if there's ever any trouble in the Middle East, run to gold. And that just might be say maybe things are going to ease at some point. 40.32 down a dollar seventeen. Uh yes. In the GDX alternate account G slash C, peak D in the weekly chart, leg D in the monthly chart. Uh, let's go to the silver. Now I'm going to go to the SLV. SLV right now had an alternate account, but I haven't put it in yet. Because the technicals have still been very strong. It's down 91 cents at 29.89. I've got the same thing in the weekly chart. I don't really want to change that. We don't have a position in silver right now, so we can actually have time to assess it. But as it looks right now, the 9 period moving average in the daily is still very strong as it is in the weekly and the monthly. Uh, price is pulling back. And if, the, if silver takes out the gap up, low of 29.42 from the 18th of October, that to me is a big problem. And I'll have to look at this and say, yeah, that was because the, the, the nine period moving average, the green nine didn't go pink. It says I must have missed, I, I've miscalculated that this is really, I'm going to put it in right now because I need to know what if I'm wrong and that letter is, is an alternate count. And it really could be an alternate. There's no reason why it couldn't be an alternate count. Therefore, that would not be an, a, an up arrow and a down arrow. So that's silver. Silver's acting very weak right now. But overall, it's got strength. So I'm going to just leave it at that. High-grade copper was a hint that things are not great. It's unchanged. What is it? Is copper trading at all? Something's going on. Let's just check wood, which is our, um, our broader international look at uh, the business and the cycle, not the business cycle, but the building cycle, I meant to say. So this is the IJS Global Timber and Forestry ETF made a peak F. Don't you candle right there in the 86s, trading right now at 80 point, uh, 87 of 38 cents. Uh, it's just stuck. It's not really all that good. I'll be back in a moment. Now's the chap and tag emissions out. Dow's down 264. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger Zen, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Yeah, so let me just show you this. Uh, uh, this is the five-minute e-mini. Just look at this. All you have to do is look at the pink line and look at the green line and then look at the pink line. So that's using the nine-period moving average as a guide. You're going to use other things as well. You can't just rely on that the same way as you can't rely on the uh, – MACD or stochastic suddenly pulling back and saying, oh, everything's, uh, everything's going down because if your line is still very strong, that's the one thing that can keep you into a position much longer than you, you would uh, normally anticipate. So with that said, um, I want to just finish up here because it's really important. I've got the TNX. This is the 10-year T note. So you see this line right here in the, in the monthly chart? Look at this. I, what I'd said forever is that don't be fooled by rising rates or lower rates because sometimes the market has its own agenda. That's the general market indices. Uh, we've been here many times before. Uh, in fact, the uh, three three point five. and let me just give you the exact figure right now. This particular thick line here is just the horizontal line that I put in to say, we've been here many, many times before over the years. And this is a, a monthly chart. So the number that I'm looking at is 37.51. Let's call it 3.75. Okay, that's the 10-year note. Look how the price has bounced off. Yes, it has the look of a uh, head and shoulders pattern. Ah, it doesn't have to be that. So most importantly, what we're looking at is, look, I'm just going to squeeze this all the way to 2003. We've been here, and yet the market has it its own agenda, right? So all I'm saying is that I consider yields to be something important, but it's how you how you rate them, how you an analyze them, and when you analyze them. But the tenure is important because why? 
Uh, because car loans and all sorts of things like that <coughs> already, they benchmark to the tenure. So at this point, we've got a peak F. Could be an alternate count. I don't see any reason why I could need to do that. It's making a little double top area. Leg B in the weekly chart. The nine period moving average actually flipped to positive uh, this week. I don't know if it'll stay there. It's got until Friday at four to stay L. If it disappears, it means it's still negative with pink. It hasn't turned to green. And you've got support right here. What is it saying? <laughs> it's saying that yields are going higher. Okay, so let's get the relationship. What are we relating it to? Well, Toll Brothers is only down two, two cents today at 148.12, but it made this high in the 160 area. It just missed a round number high. It went to 160.12. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to even have time today. I have just a ton of stocks. That, and, uh, that are making round number high. I've made round number highs lately, um, even round number lows. To me, that's really important. That was telling me that we've got some kind of thing. So the question is, uh, are you short? Well, I've given, we've, we've lightened up a lot. <clears throat> we anticipated with the earnings, uh, that's a question in the YouTube, uh, Tiger YouTube. <clears throat> and we, we, so far, we, I wanted to add, a, a, I wanted to go short today. Um, we, we missed it by two pennies. <clears throat> it's still there. It's got a price objective, and it needs to be hit by, I think, 130 or 115 today. If it's not, then we have to look at it again tomorrow. But, yeah, we've lightened up. I anticipate I'll talk about that in a moment. But I wanted to show you that um, what your anticipation is <clears throat> sometimes. Whoops, don't tell me my throat. Lubricated a little bit there. So the HGX index, there's no other way that I can really count this. I've got this as a peak C in the weekly chart, leg F in the monthly, and a peak D in the daily, uh, just under just under 840. It dipped down to the 740, 750 level. <clears throat> now it's trading at 778. So this is a work in progress, and it's and this is the reason why. I didn't want to, I've been talking about the negative side. Can I do that now? No, I need to finish. I was talking about the negative side, and I said I think it's going to be rotational. How we come out of the out of it in this in the sec by the second week of November, I'll talk about that in a moment as well, is going to be very important. But what we've done is, and I had a question yesterday, and I said, yes, please, this is where you want to be taking off something. This is where the risk just at the moment is quite high. I see the upside limited. I see the downside in a sense limited, but that can expand and therefore take some money off to have. I didn't want to change our long positions and uh, I need to cover this for the right now because the uh, relationship that I have is with the iShares broker dealer and security ETF. I've, I've had this Forever, I've looked at the, this particular index or stocks in that area to say if they are rallying very strongly, that's a really good sign that the public is is involved in the market. And we made a peak E, 138.74 in the IA. We're actually long from 45 way back in 2020, still long. We have another position in, in the broker. We'll talk about that in a moment. But this is a dreaded H. What is the dreaded H in the Chavway methodology, if I can find it right here? It is this pattern. Let me go to it right here. So I'm always looking at three key, uh, I, I would call them patterns, straight line up, straight line down, cup formation. It could be a V-shaped formation, but you're going from one level down and then back to that level. And then an arch formation, inverted V, like a pyramid going from one level up and then back. How you test it is this, where you combine one and three or one and two, this is one and three. The dreaded H is when you come down sharply, try to rally, fail to peak A or B, and then take out that left side low. We're about to do that in the IAI. The low so far today is 134.13. The low on uh, the 25th was 134.09, so we're almost there. I think we will be taking it out, and that's a clue. Peak in the daily, peak D in the weekly chart, 
peak G slash C is still very positive in the monthly chart. And the, 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 the level that I was looking at here is how does it come back into the Chap Wave inside track? Propel was a repellent zone for uh, the whole year. And then it became a support level. And now it's going to, once again, I can see it's going to come back and become a test of the support or maybe it becomes a repellent zone. So how it handles 121, whoops, I'm sorry, 131 is going to be very important because that's that green line, the nine period moving average. Okay, so we've had Robin Hood for quite some time since the 16s. It's been an outstanding uh, um, rally. It's gone all the way to 28.58 yesterday. We've been taking little bits off. Why? Because we consider this was extended and we wanted to see some kind of a pullback for, to give us a clue as to what's happening in uh, the area that I, we believe, me, I believe, Robin Hood participants, uh, uh, the clients are in. And I think that's the gold and the, and the Bitcoin. And you can see the gold is pulling back right here sharply. So I think that together with the earnings yesterday, it was a bit disappointing. We'll see whether or not Bitcoin uh, down a thousand and twenty right now can go to a slightly higher leg deep outside of the next week. I'll be back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com.
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. We're back. So what we're looking at here is uh, Microsoft took out its left side low from October. The other was the 8th. Uh, and the 408s is at 407 or 75. And you can see in the weekly chart, <clears throat> I don't want to go into that now. There was a Chapman Wave stalk leg formation. We followed it just beautifully. Um, it makes it as a leg, then it has this oval body, then it breaks into the neck. And then what it breaks into, I shouldn't say that, it rallies into the neck phase. Then it turns around and has the beak. And when the beak is finished, it always has a good rally. But if it takes out the left side low, with the beak, which was 388.03, and that went to 385.58. That's usually a bad sign. It says the upside now is limited. You've got to be careful. So we watched it have a good rally because the rule is when the beak, that's the long leg down here, is complete, there should be a strong rally, and then you're on your own. Then you have to look at brand-new patterns. Well, the brand-new pattern says there's a good chance we're going to make a dreaded H pattern. And I'm anticipating over the next two, three weeks, if uh, Microsoft does pull back into the 390s, then somewhere in that 388 area, 386 area, maybe we'll start a trading position to our core position along from 338. Uh, we've taken nice profits all the way up, and now we've got a core position, and we will add to it if conditions are met. Uh, meantime, back at the ranch. So just to go through that, so Robin Hood is telling me with the earnings, the disappointment, it wasn't bad. Uh, initially, it pulled back three, then it was down 213 overnight. Uh, it was even better than that at one point, and now it is expanding because of the general malaise of the market. Now, when I get to the uh, weekly chart, there's no other way I can count this at this particular point um, other than that is a peak, a leg C, probably a peak C. So my anticipation is, the we get, and this is kind of telling me more about the market than anything else, is that if Robinhood takes out 22 in the next week, that's a serious problem. And I think it's going to be reflected in both the gold and the Bitcoin. If it can hold very well here, and one of the two, either the gold or the Bitcoin, has a decent rally. And Bitcoin, you can see right now, is at a peak C. In the daily chart, it had a very nice overnight bounce from a low. It was up about 500 points. It actually went to 73,600. Now it's at 71,630. I mean, these two, 3,000 point moves very quickly in something like this. you got to monitor that very closely. But the tacticals are all still very strong. The weekly chart is still, it broke out and so far this is a, Oh, talk about uh, Chapman Wave Roman candle. We'll see what happens on Friday. But so far, it has a sign that it could be a Chapman Wave Roman green, Roman inverted Roman candle. So this is the candle I was looking at. I should show you right here. So you see this candle right here from yesterday in the Dow. So this particular candle I'm high. Oh, I meant to see. I put in, um, I tried to change the pointer to a much bigger pointer. Is that really working? Let me just see. Pointer, pointer. Yeah, that's not bad. I wish it was darker. Maybe I'd change the color as well. Because I, I realized this with many of the uh, charts that are shown on, on uh, TV or uh, in the den, sometimes the pointer is not as clear as it should be. I'm going to make that. I'll try to make it a different color. But in the meantime, that's the candle from yesterday. And the rule of thumb is if intra bar and the next bar or two, doesn't matter what time frame, it can hold for a shorter period. In this case, daily, it would be about 60 minutes above the halfway of the wick. Then it will retest, there's a good chance to retest the high. If it closes decisively below the low of this inverted red, I typed it in there, Chamber of Roman Candle. We remember we had one over there uh, that was on the 24th of October, 
that's usually very negative. And there you are, you're plum plummeting down. And I had said, oh, and look at this. Isn't this interesting? I had drawn this in. I forgot I drew it in. I and you. Look, there's a chap wave, left side, right side, price, time match. This is just a perfect example of the plumb line. Let me just move it over there. The plumb line is to the 16th of October, the high of all time high of 43,325. The number of bars from the 41,831 low of the 7th to the 16th equals exactly to today's low. And so far, the low is <clears throat> 41,991. We haven't taken out this left side, but there's the bar. Isn't that interesting? There's your arch formation. This is the arch formation. I really must find my CD, uh, my in my book. I don't know why I don't follow that up. I should do that. It just goes so much. Maybe I'll maybe I'll take some time, take two weeks or something at some point, and refine it into a very current methodology book because nobody has CDs anymore. I just got to figure a way to do it. Um, anyway, isn't that interesting? Okay, so um, well, I got deviated from what I was talking about. So let me let me get back to on track. Okay, I needed to do this because I had written it all down yesterday, wrote it down today. I wrote it down actually the other day. General Electric turned into a fantastic company of being one of the absolute worst during the MLT years. Uh, he did just everything wrong. He he bought the oils when oil was tanking. He bought the uh, he just did everything wrong, right? And there was some fudging going on. So General Electric, ever since it made a low back at the end of 2022, um, that's been fantastic. It's just been one of the leaders, and it's been a leader in the sense that it had everything going for it. It had um, the technicals. It had the history. It goes back to the 1920s. It had the... Um, uh, I wanted to talk about it in terms of the fundamentals. It had the cyclical part of the market. It had just everything, and it did fantastic. Then it made this double top at 194.80 uh, two weeks ago in mid-October, <clears throat> and it's been pulling back since. Peak E doji candle at the all-time. Can you imagine a stock that climbs from the 40 level to the 194 area, and it has a weekly chart with the tiniest candle, uh, one of the tiniest candles it's had in ages, and then it turns around. So that just says to me, that's an area that you have to watch, and that was the clue to me with the gap down and then not filling the gap, but in fact making lower lows and lower highs, that you've got to be monitoring General Electric as a market barometer. So that's one thing. Then the other is Syntax. Syntax. This is the Syntax Uniforms Rentals GCS C in the monthly chart peak D with an alternate. This is the inside. It made two consecutive instant restarts in the Chapman Wave methodology. That is, it's unusual these days to do that, especially in the weekly chart. There it is at peak D. I'm watching this close to the 215 all time high, 215.37. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. 
Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, so what's awesome about Coin, uh, Coinbase Global Inc. trading at 194.42, uh, down 17. Uh, so this one I was talking about the other day, I said, you know, this has not got the same pattern as some of the others in the Bitcoin area. Uh, it's doing okay, but it's it's not definitely not my favorite to look at, but I'll do that. Well, it went to a 208. Look what happened. On the 28th of October, it has a 218.00 round number high. Makes a new recovery high yesterday of 223.99. I put 90, but it's, uh, yes, 90. It's a peak F in the Chapman Wave methodology. Has a doji candle, has a doji candle yesterday, plunges today. So this just says to me, watch the 100, 188 is the 200 period moving average. I'm going to make it, if it goes under 180, be careful because that weekly chart is looking very poor and it is already a peak D in the uh, monthly chart and it was a peak F in the daily. So these Fs for this particular stock are... are uh, not great. So let's see. You got in the den, uh, jambalaya. Ah, good, good Morgan. Yeah, good, uh, good and tag. Uh, uh, hell, jambalaya. Uh, v Gates. Uh, so Mr. Chapman, DXY. Let's do that. So this is the dollar. Oops. Come on. Come on. There we go. The dollar is pulling back, making a peak F. Wow, peak F in the Coinbase and peak F here, with a Doji candle high. 
I'm watching this very closely. It's holding very well, but the dollar has a single leg eight to the upside. The nine period moving average, I have to wait for Friday's close. So far, the nine is L, meaning that it is turning above the 14 period moving average to change from pink to green. You want green if you're bullish. Oh, actually, we've been bullish since 2018, back at 90 for the dollar. Starting right now at 104, we've had it for two big rounds to so the upside up to 120, then pull back, then 114, taking a little bit off, but I've kept it as an icon as the global currency of import. That is the United States currency. That's the most important reason. So with that said, um, I'd be watching this. The 200 period moving average is 103.44. To get the nine period moving average to go negative in the dollar, you'd have to see this trading under 103. It's at 104.12, probably 102.78. And then you'll see that green turn pink. Actually, it'll probably even be lower than that. So it needs speed. The monthly chart is just in this rectangle that went from the cup formation to the, try to get to the u shape W formation. Instead, it's, it's, the U, it's the arch H that is going to the M. These are fighting patterns. Just make it as simple as possible. Call it a rectangle formation. And until or if the dollar is able to trade on a monthly basis, two out of three months above 107.35, two out of the three consecutive months, it has to be above 107.35. That will say, wow, now I can go into the big ugly candle uh, that was from the High, most recent high was back in September of 2022 at 114.78. The candle I'm talking about is the one from November of 113 to 105. But if at any point the dollar takes out 102.75, then the majority of trading is going to be with lower highs and lower lows. But at this point, it's holding pretty well. Next question was, GLD, GLD is the gold, trades at one-tenth as a spider gold trust, trades at one-tenth uh, split gold. Whenever we've gone into this, we've gone to the IAU. The IAU, oh, I haven't even updated. Oh, I did. Something happened. I lost the notation. Is the one-tenth, the price of the one-tenth GLD. So it's much cheaper. It does exactly the same thing. I'd rather pay 51 than pay um, 252. So that's the way it is. So it's a leg D in the monthly chart. I needed to go all the way back here. Yeah, I don't think I've got a lot back going back for long enough. But this is all time high, done very well. It's a leg E. Could be even be an instant restart in the in the weekly chart. But I'm calling it an E for now. All the technicals are fabulous, and it's gone to an A. So that's an E. A B. See, yeah, wow. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a little work on this because I don't, I don't want to do it blindly. It should be as simple as going peak A. I just actually, I'll do it right now. That's 245.92. Yeah, there it is. So this is A. This is B. But you see, the, the nine period moving average didn't go negative. So I don't know if this is a continuation pattern. Either way. This would be E slash A, another A right there, another A right there because it's lower. Yeah, either way, I'm going to have to call this a C. All right, so that's still bullish for the GLD on the daily chart. Um, next question was, what did you put there? The 30-year. So the TLT, let's go to the TLT. Uh, made a trough D at the bottom right here. This is where... Remember the chat? This is the oh, I can't do it. It's a technical Friday tomorrow. I'll do it. This is the Chapman Way falling axe inversion. It could become an arch formation, the dreaded H, but it went to a peak D. And in fact, I have to put a down arrow. So the weekly chart is in a cell mode. That's an upgrade to, from cell signal. The monthly chart's really looking like an H to an M pattern. The uh, week, the daily chart has gone to a leg A, but it take, it's going to take a lot. It's going to take a move to 93, 93, 90, to, no, probably 94, 94.20 to the 200 period moving average of 94.90 to get that pink nine period moving average to cross positive. So yields are really a, a still a big, a big, um, a big factor 
in just talking about yields at this particular point, because I don't see the yields at this stage changing direction significantly just at the moment. That might change, but I need to see 94 to 95 in the next, or oh, I'd say by a week from Friday, a week from tomorrow. Next, Kevin. It's a question here. Let me just check it out. Um, oh, is this a technical or fundamental slide today? Hmm, I'll try to deal with that when we get back. I, I think it's really, this is the first time we've seen a combination of technical and fundamental because key uh, stocks like Microsoft are pulling back very sharp. I'll be back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, so let, let's just do this. The question came in, uh, is this uh, a fundamental or is it technical? And I, I, as I said, I think it's a combination of both. But if you're looking at, the, uh, and the reason is, You've got some really important stocks. As I said, GE, to me, that's a fundamental. When that pulls back, it's telling you something about the economy. Syntas, uh, uniforms, uh, rentals, uh, when that pulls back, you've got something there that's very important. URI is the uh, URI, United Rentals. Um, that made, a, made an all-time high. Oh, come on, come on. I want to be messed around here. Let's get this going. There it is. So made a peak C1, C2, double top, all-time high in mid-October. Uh, at the uh, Almost made a round number high. Look, it went to 861.74 on the uh, 16th of October, an 
61.33 um, on the 22nd of October. Double top, pulling back here. The 9 period moving average today is just turning S. And that just says, be real careful. But I can't, I, I can't rule out the fact that I've still got a peak C in the weekly chart. And it just says to me, my weekly charts are suggesting there is a really important pullback occurring here, but there should still be higher highs. That's the way I'm looking at it. I don't see any change in that. So the question here is the VIX index and the volatility index is making this cup and huge handle pattern. If it takes out the high that was made on the 8th of October of 23.14 and then starts to trade in the 24s, if it takes it out today, trades in the 24th and then holds above 22 or 23, 2280 to 23 something, say 2330 through the through in tomorrow morning, that's going to say you finally got reason for the, the um, all, all the fund managers that we believe have been buying insurance. Now it's coming to pass. So we've got a, a, a good, uh, tomorrow I'll be able to talk about it because I also want to talk about DJT. I spoke about it the other day. I was asked about this. This is the Trump Media and Technology Group. I said, I just treat these as trades. I'd be 